This, this was a big surprise. Um, he, he revealed today that his initial plan was to uh, resign as speaker at the end of last year. However, last year, uh, the House Majority Leader Eric Cantor lost in a Republican primary in his district in Virginia. And he didn't want to leave and have a new majority leader and, and not have so much experience at the top of leadership in the House. So he decided uh, to it would be too much turmoil for him to leave at the end of last year. So he said his next uh, decision was to uh, retire at the end of this year. Um, however, there's been a growing number of conservatives in the House Republican Conference who have been challenging the Speaker's leadership. And they were pushing for a vote, perhaps this fall. It's called a vote to vacate the chair. So, and if someone can make a motion and they have to hold a vote, and, and the Speaker would need 218 votes to keep his leadership. Now, the House Republicans have a, a large majority, one of the largest majorities in over half a century. They have 247 Republicans. However, there's a very real prospect that it that he would not be able to keep his speakership with just Republican votes. And if he needed to rely on Democratic votes to keep his speakership, um, I think that would have been very embarrassing for him. The most likely candidate is uh, Representative Kevin McCarthy of California. He is the House Majority Leader. However, you know, he, is, he has been close with Boehner recently, and it's unclear how his leadership would be different than Boehner's, at least ideologically. But what some of these conservative members say they want is, is not so much a change in ideology. They want a change in process. They want a process that's more inclusive. They're upset that Speaker Boehner was not as willing to use the power of the purse uh, to, to bring about change. Namely, you know, to shut down the government over things like funding the president's health law, which they did a couple of years ago. Inevitably, Republicans relented and reopened the government and the, the president's health law has still been funded. The latest fight is over funding Planned Parenthood. They don't want to vote for a funding bill to keep the government open that provides money to Planned Parenthood. It seems increasingly likely that that's the way we're going to go. So, you know, what they want is a leader who's willing to shut the government down to get what they want.